We're here in St. Fagans. Fagans. St. Fagans. It's St. Fagans. St. Fagans. St. Fagans. St. Fagans. Okay, well, we're here at well, wherever you say it. I'm Matt. She's Eva. Who's right? Comment below. We're here for days out now. Um, they were grateful enough to put us on their website for our Pontnade Vacker videos, which I'll link now in the description below. Up, up top and below. Both. Here's a quick look at what's coming along today. Okay, so we've come in from a different entrance. It's four pound for parking if you're following the normal um, road. Um, most of your sat navs will take you on the Cardiff Link Road. We've come in from the house side, but like I said, car parking is four pound. Four pound, and that'll take you to the main entrance. Okay, so we're at the Kennington Farmhouse. This was erected here in this open air Welsh Museum in 1955. It was originally built in 1610 and it would have been from the Gower in Swansea. The red paint, the red paint on the farmhouse is to ward off evil spirits. Ooh. And as you can see that little doll hanging by there is quite creepy. I'll, uh, I'll just zoom in on that for you. Creepy doll. So creepy. Fun fact, my auntie's mother used to play in this house when she was a little girl. See, everyone in Wales knows each other or has some history of something. They do. Just like everyone had their grandmothers. Can't put them on the wall. Hello. Oh, what a lovely bedrooms in the house. I could sleep here. Master bedroom. Nice <laughs> little window light. Do you make up in the morning? <laughs> Although it's not as busy today as when we last came doing half to him. Oh god. It's, uh, it's still pretty busy, there's still a lot of people around. Don't really want to get in people's way and start filming. Um, don't interrupt, there's a lot of knowledgeable people inside the buildings. If there's one you like and there's a question you've got, just go up to them and ask them. Very, very knowledgeable people. Okay, so after the Red House, or Kennington Farmhouse, as we found out it was called, just keep following the trails around, there's maps, there's all different kinds of guides you can get. Just fall away around and you come to the village, the house, the castle. It's easy enough. Yeah, as she said, it's easy enough. Run! It's, it's just a very pretty place to be. It's a nice place just to come out, walk around, see a bit of old Welsh history, culture. Like this cottage, I think it was built in 1762 and it was re-erected here again in 1962, I, I think. I don't know. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's nice and warm in here with the fire, isn't it? <laughs> grand, my grand used to, literally, my grand used to have these same plates in her kitchen. Okay, yeah. Gwalia Supply. Now, I wonder if these are Gwalia stores. I don't know whether it's from Movale or not. I'm going to double check. Before that, though, let's look at the cockpit. Okay, so the cockpit was built in 1660 and re erected here in 1970. Never seen a cockpit like it. Okay, so in this cockpit, they would have done cockfighting. Do you want to go cockfighting, Matthew? She's hysterical. Let's see if the store's open, shall we? Jam or creams. I can't 
custard cream. Oh, custard cream with my favorite. And jam and creams are mine. Uh, Jacob and Co. biscuits. Just reminds me of open all that was. Ah, great story, no? Everywhere you go, it feels like you're in a library and you want to talk really quietly. It just has that weird eeriness about it. Do you feel the same way? Yeah. So I think we'll keep the dog in the outside. Look like a mouse. Look like a mouse. What, what did you just say, Emma? I didn't know they had like a DJ kind of person in the 1920s. <laughs> She's so cruel. <laughs> Oakdale Workman's Institute. Oakdale Workman's Institute. Fun fact about the Oakdale Workman's Institute. Okay. So say Fun again. fact about the Oakman Workman's house. No? Oakdale. Oakdale. Yes, stop. Okay, okay, we'll see that. Okay. Fun fact about the Oakdale Workman's house. Doctor Who filmed there. The episode Family of Blood with David Tennant. I think it was season three, episode nine. Okay, as I said, a lot of the staff here are very knowledgeable. Um, you can ask them almost anything and they should know about wherever they're stationed in that building they've had excellent training we're approaching you something called St Tylo's Church which is an incredible church um, here's what it looks like St Tylo's Church oh look in here it is really cool So uh, we had a bit of an embarrassing moment earlier. Emma, now I know what she meant. I did know what she meant. What she meant was, when something is old, it has a unique smell. But what she said was, to the store clerk, you know when something's old, when it smells, and this store clerk wasn't exactly young. Uh, she had a bit of a look on her face and then I explained what she meant and she had a bit of a laugh about it, but yeah, so she, uh... You know when something's old because it smells, that's the quarter of the day. We've taken shelter back in the cockpit because it's raining. I don't want to get wet, I haven't got a raincoat on. The weather was supposed to be sunny, stroke, cloudy all day, there was supposed to be no rain. Never believe the weather, man. Okay, so the six houses we're about to go into are the 1805, 1855, 1895, 1925, 1955 and 1985. You got confused? I'll put the title of which I was walking into first. Old house. House number two. Hey. Hi, how are you? Oh, it's nice and you're heating on the fire. Yeah. This is house number three. Oh, eerie. So it didn't change that much. It's very dark in here. Nice little bedroom. Look at the dogs. <laughs> we had dogs in the last one as well. Yeah. And the back garden, as you can see. People were very self-sufficient back then. Used to grow their own vegetables and stuff. And I know my gran used to do it. Yeah. House number four. Yeah. Is this house number four? Yeah. Yeah, this is house number four. 
Okay, it's gone from dogs now to like some sort of lion thing. And times have changed. Oh, look, old fashioned camera. Very cool. So, a machine. Is it a singer? Like all the other ones that everyone Gran had. Okay, I'm going to show you one thing before we go into house number five. Five. This is house number five, yeah? Yeah, this is I'm going to show you before we go into house number five. Now, during the war, we used to have these Anderson bomb shelters. Now, my gran turned her Anderson bomb shelter into her shed. Where they spent many nights waiting for the Luftwaffe to bomb them. They'd be sat in there, all huddled round. Um, this is what was called an Anderson shelter. Everyone was given one. And during the uh, the blitz, the bombings, and everything else, it's, it's quite well known history of South Wales. It's more prevalent, I think, in London. But everyone was given one of these Anderson bomb shelters um, to erect in their back garden. You used to run out of the house and then dive into your Anderson bomb shelter. Which again was still erected in my grand's backyard as a shed until oh how long ago was it? 2007, 2008. So it did withstood. So you know you probably wouldn't survive exactly a a bomb blast, so to speak. But you you'd have a good chance of surviving. House number five. Now this is like your grandfather. I knew we were growing up. Even, right, I'm going to take a photo of something I've got in my house which is exactly the same as that. So here's that image. Now, a little magnifying glass for the TV there to make it a little bit bigger. Those were even life hacks back in the day. I'm sure, you used to be able to walk around with these a lot more. They put all gates up and stuff now. I think you did. I think it did used to have like gates and stuff. There used to be that many gates to the Okay, and this is more like the house you were more likely to be growing up in than in the nineties. Oh, do you know it's it's like being back in the house, it is, when you were younger. Nineties babies. Nineties babies indeed. Oh, the cookers, the microwaves, the bathtubs, it's all the same, even the back up. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so that about does it for that. We're going to walk up to uh, the castle now, go to the castle, so she can run to her castle, pretend she's a princess. Oh, squirrel. squirrel! One thing I'll say, today is not about showing you absolutely everything this year because I want you to come here and experience it for yourself. I'm not going to be taking you around every single site because you one, it'll be boring, and two, um, you kind of got to come to this place to see it. It's worth a trip. It's worth a trip with the kids. It's, it's interesting and they can have a little play around the old houses. Um, yeah, it's good.